Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Purdue, um, some of the largest grants that we've seen, they were founded the Department of Transportation, were the electric vehicle charging station grants. Um, two of these grant programs can be found in the IIJA, which were authorized at the tune of seven and a half billion dollars. And I know Florida, that's still a lot of money. I, in Missouri, that's a, a, a lot of money. Um, we can talk all day about the issues with electric vehicles, but with our limited time, I wanted to ask you if you think that these charging station grants were actually good for the states. Thank you, Congressman. So um, in Florida, you know, we are proud of the fact that the private industry has always done a great job of fueling vehicles. Um, I do not believe it should be any different for the power that it takes to charge electric vehicles. This is just one more type of transportation. It's one more fuel type. Um, we encourage fuel freedom. We would like to see the development of all fuel types and all alternative fuels, and we believe the private sector can really meet that mark. With regards to IIJA, there's actually there's discretionary grant money for electric vehicle charging infrastructure. There's also a new required formula program that um, was rolled out, and we received roughly $198 million over five years. Um, we have taken those funds um, and developed a plan and identified you know, gaps in locations, but there are still major hurdles and challenges and concerns to get over before we actually roll that program out. I know several states have already begun implementing it. It's looking like, you know, and this is public, this is public funding, and it's looking like every location based on the requirements in the program are costing around $750,000 to a million dollars per site. So it's a significant investment. And you know, one big question we have in Florida, our um, adoption rate for EVs right now is around 1.3%. And so this is public money building public infrastructure. You know, assuming our adoption rate continues to move that slowly, is this a wise inv investment of, of public infrastructure dollars? And, in the, and the other question, Mr. Purdue, is, is there the infrastructure to, to support it? There was an article that came out today from the Washington Post. The title of the article says, Amid explosive demand, America is running out of power. Um, it, it's, it continues to say that vast swaths of the United States are at risk of running out of, uh, of, out of power as electricity-hungry data centers and clean technology factories proliferate around the country, leaving utilities and regulators grasping for credible plans to expand the nation's creaking power grid. In Georgia, the demand, I'm going to paraphrase, is so high that it would take um, the equivalent, that the, the expectations are now 17 times that they will have this, 17 times the current need that they have today. Um, in, other, in other states, they're saying that they would have to um, scramble to implement numerous nuclear power plants just to accommodate the planned infrastructure growth of the data centers and and, and all of these. And with that in mind, would you agree with me that this is the federal government pouring gasoline on the fire of something that's probably already um, a, a crisis in America? I would, I would say that it's definitely not sustainable to focus all of your efforts on just one fuel type. Again, you know, having a diverse portfolio in transportation is truly how you are sustainable for many, many years to come. Electric vehicles are just one type. Um, a lot of people in Florida are still choosing gas and diesel. Um, I personally drive a truck with a diesel engine and I will drive that for the rest of my life. And you know, I'm a Floridian, I'm American, I have the right to do that. And so you know, I think developing that infrastructure out in a way that, that is diversified and really brings all of the alternative fuels to the table is the best path forward. Thank you, Ms. Purdue. I, I agree with your, your comments. This, this is why I sponsored a bill here in Congress called the Unplug EVs Act, which will eliminate our taxpayer funding for these, um, these charging stations, which, as you mentioned, the private sector has been doing for quite some time. Thank you, and I yield the rest of my time. Gentlemen, you